holder of the answer. Not all objects are hidden in some secret labyrinth, their holders hiding unseen in some dark, hard-to-reach room, waiting for seekers to challenge them. Such is the case with Object 2442. The holder of this object lies in no specific city, or any specific country. No, the holder of 2442 travels, and must always be traveling, carrying the burden that is the answer. If you are a determined seeker and search far enough, you may just come across this holder. The holder of the answer will stand out in the eyes of any seeker, simply because she does not stand out. Rather, this holder seems to blend into her surroundings, quickly vanishing in crowds or as soon as the seeker loses sight of her. She will always present herself as what the seeker would see as an average, perfectly normal person. If you are quick, you will be able to make eye contact. Her dull, weary eyes will light up, her entire complexion contorting to reveal her true appearance. Now the chase begins. Do not run unless she runs. Do not stop unless she stops. She will lead you on for an entire day, though you will not notice until the chase has ended. If you hesitate or lose focus on her for even a moment, you will never see her again, and they will know who you are. When at last she stops, you will have a moment to take in your surroundings. You will find yourself deep in a canyon, its cold, craggy walls reaching high above your heads. Just ahead of you is a lone olive tree, its ancient, gnarled branches reaching towards you, blown and twisted centuries ago by some fierce wind. She will turn and fix her piercing eyes on you. All around will be dead silence. You must not break this silence until she speaks, lest the canyon walls close around you, slowly crushing you in a stony tomb like many seekers before you. You may be left standing there until your legs are numb, but still you must say nothing and do not break her gaze, or you will lose the answer forever. When at last she speaks, she will ask in a voice barely above a whisper, What? You must reply in a voice only slightly louder. Why is it hidden? She will reply slightly louder. When did it begin? You must now shout. How are they connected? By now you'll have noticed a faint rumbling echoing from further down the canyon. Again, do not break her gaze to try and see what it is. Her body will twist independent of her head, and not turning her face from you, she will pluck a single olive from the tree. The rumbling will have risen to a roar, like the sound of a rushing waterfall. She will walk to you and offer you the olive, but do not touch it. Do not even reach for it, for this is not the object. Touching the olive has reduced many foolish seekers to pitiful sobbing heaps. Instead, reaching with your non-dominant hand, touch your thumb just above her left eye. Her skin will feel like ice, and will send tingles like pins and needles up your arm. Do not break eye contact, even as she reaches up and forcefully pushes her finger into the eye. With a sickening pop, she will pull the eye out and reach back with the olive into the bleeding socket. Stay focused on her other eye, as staring too long into the bleeding socket will bring madness. With a smile, she will pull out the olive again, now dyed a deep crimson. She will offer it to you. Take it immediately, as even a moment's hesitation will make you fail, and you will be trapped in the chaos and the rumbling for eternity, which now seems to be coming from all around you. Her jaw will unhinge, her body reduced to shreds, ripped apart by the hordes of demons that have been roaring and stomping around you. 
the same you heard earlier as they ran up the canyon. Once again, do not even glance at them, or they will drag you screaming to the lowest circle of hell. Focus only on her good eye. Jaw unhinged, her face will stretch, contorting until she appears to be a demon herself. Her lips will curl back, revealing row upon row of jagged, pointed teeth as she snarls, so loud it drowns out the ruckus of the demons. The olive will feel heavy in your hand, as if you were holding a large stone, and it will only get heavier. Her mouth will widen, and the dark abyss will swallow you. Slowly your eyes will adjust to the gloom, and the silence will turn to the welcoming chirp of crickets. If you're lucky, there will be a cool breeze to waft the stench of fear away. It will be night, specks of light will shine in the darkness above, and you will be standing at the edge of a dark canyon. Look down, and you will see a darkness darker than that of the sky, and perhaps the glint of two dull, weary eyes staring up at you, but in a moment they vanish. Walk away from this canyon, and do not look back. You now possess the Crimson Olive, object 2442 of 2538. It will grow heavier.